world is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Chrono Cross! Since last time I killed all the Lagoonates here at Marble, and that's everything, so I heard some kind of roaring going on. Hmm, I wonder where that could have come from. Well, anyway, in order to lift the curse or whatever is going on here, you gotta kill two Lagoonates in that cave there, and then there's seven outside, so that's nine total. Sorry, I had to think about the math for a second there. And by the way, one thing I found that was pretty effective against those Lagoonates, the uh, black hole elements, because it's, uh, well, it can get instant death on them sometimes. Or as Leonard Nimoy likes to call it, black hole. What's, his, what's with his accent, you know? In, in that part of the movie, it's like, I entered the black hole. What, what, I, 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 I don't get it. His accent just like suddenly changes mid-sentence. I don't know. Spot goes down the hole. Okay, well now that we've, we're done with the concert and everything, we've pretty much saved Marble, the demi humans won't quite return there yet. There's one more thing that we've got to do, and I'm not going to be doing that for quite a while. So, But that's okay. But before we go back to another world to complete this part of the side quest, we should talk to Nikki here. Giggity. Oh, I, I, her portrait is always like that, isn't that? I don't know. Sure, why not take a scantily clad dancer with us? More party members! Well, she's kind of hot, I guess. I think she has a dual tech with Nikki, does she? I forget. I don't really pay attention to the dual techs that much, except for... X-Strike, I'll be honest with you viewers. Most of them just aren't worth it. Okay, so I'll just uh, meet you in another world to uh, finish the side quest in Marble Another World. Alright, we're back in Another World. I figured I'd show you the Another World symbol there and then enter Marble instead of just transitioning straight into Marble. Although I think it should be obvious, just so you guys can know what's going on exactly. Now, before completing the Dario side quest, we should actually return to the main quest first. We've got to get the power from the six dragons in order to enter the Sea of Eden. And as, well, you might remember, this is where the black dragon is, in marble. And now that we've killed all the monsters, we've destroyed its dream, I guess. And now it's awake. Exercise? Will it involve violence? Yes, it does! Alright, it's boss time! So we gotta fight the black dragon, probably the hardest of the dragons. You can fight them in any order you want, but the sky dragon, except for the sky dragon, the sky dragon has to be last. So, let's see. First things first, I'm gonna play it a little risky here. I decided to bring Starkey along because, well, he's white elemental, and he's a cute little alien guy. So first things first, as usual, eagle eye and strengthen on Starkey there. Things are going to be a little different in this boss fight, because he has a lot of HP. This one might take the rest of the episode, so let's go all out there, try to get the jump on him as best we can. Oh, this is going to hurt. Ow. Oh, thank goodness Starkey evaded those two attacks. I mean, he could have died there. But anyway, let's use Ultra Nova there. Just fast forward through the animation there. Wow, okay, that probably took off about 20% of his HP in that round with Starkey there. So that's pretty good there. Okay, now let's get to the, the, the real setup for the boss fight. Yeah, he uses anti-white, but I don't care anymore. Now we want to set up Diminish, so that way he doesn't kill Starkey there. I may even want to heal Starkey if his HP gets any lower, because, I mean, he could... He might be able to kill Starkey from here, right now. But I do want to get... I definitely get Diminish up, and uh, break up the element field before it gets all black there. Uh, do I risk it? No, no I don't. Let's just do it now. Let's go Pillage! As with all of the dragons, you can steal an item from them. A very good one. It's a common steel, the black plates. It allows you to absorb all black elemental elements. So there you are. And each dragon will have one of that kind. 
So that's how you get them. Lenny, stop playing with the mouse. The, the computer mouse, that is. He's playing with it like it's a real mouse. Ow! I may want to have Link's use recover all when I get the chance. But now, Starkey's just basically going to be going all out here. Yeah, yeah, that's a good way to go. I don't want to take too big of a risk. Okay, that's good enough, good enough. Uh, yeah, let's use heal all instead of recover all. We need the, the big HP restoration here. By the way, one other thing that you can do uh, for this black dragon, you can, unlike the other dragons, you can actually completely bypass this boss fight. If you bring all demi-humans to talk to the black dragon, he'll just give you the item that you're looking for right away, and you don't have to fight him. You just go along your merry way. But then you lose the opportunity to get the black plate, which obviously we want. So and you have to have Fargo in order to do that. So there you are. See, Black Dragon shouldn't be too much of a threat with his physical attacks there on uh, anyone besides Starkey now, so... Genius! Brilliant! Uh-oh, this could hurt. See, I thought there was one other thing I wanted to mention about this guy. Eh, kind of reminds me of Magus' uh, Dark Bomb attack, I think. It is Magus' Dark Bomb attack. Ow! That hurt. Lenny, get off the desk. Uh, I was going to use a buff on Starkey because it's probably worn off by now, but we need a heal all. This guy is hard. I think he has almost 4,000 HP, so that could be a problem. Um, I, yeah, you know what? I'm going to do it. I was going to say I might delay using Eagle Eye. Well, now I'm going to have to delay using Eagle Eye. Okay, never mind. I forgot I had Fargo do that. Well, never mind then. Is he sagging yet? I don't think so. Wow, this guy has a lot of HP. And also, you, uh, if I didn't... Oh, I got darkness on me. Nuts. Um, make sure that you don't let the field effect get all black. That, that would be bad. So, like, be especially careful when you're casting that first diminish there. Let's see. Eh, try another one. Nuts. Do you have darkness on you, too? Crap. Okay, uh, let's see. Let's use Purify on Fargo there. There we go. Huh, it didn't work on Starkey. Well, that's nice to know. But yeah, um, if I didn't say so earlier with uh, what, what are we doing here, um, we, uh, like they said before, you have to... Uh, what is it? We have to get the power of these six dragons in order to enter the Sea of Eden. So, well, if you haven't guessed it already, we're going to have to fight all of them eventually. One at a time, we got to find them. We already know where a bunch of them are, like this guy. Well, that should work. Okay, let's fast forward. This is taking too long now. <laughs> so, yeah, some of the... This one's probably the hardest one, but the reason why I wanted to fight this guy first was primarily to get the black plate so I could... Well, you don't have to have it, but it's a really, really good idea to have it for the Dario side quest. Free fall. Nuts. No, no, not on Starkey! But I didn't say ye. No, no. Ow. Wow, even Lynx is doing more damage than Fargo there. I think he was anyway. Crap. Uh... I guess use it on Starkey there. I'm running out of healing elements here. I want to save my cure-all from Fargo there for later. That's another reason why Fargo is very good. Being a blue elemental, he can use the best healing spell that we have available for quite some time. So that's pretty nice. But I only want to use that if I'm like near death. If it's like 150, 200 HP, I'm not really worried about that. Cat tastes yummy. Do you have cheeseburgers? No, no. Lynx does not have cheeseburgers. Come on. Oh, nuts. Ah, I suppose I could have used strength on Starkey. I forgot about that. Did I get him? He seems pissed off. Yeah, got him. Do enough throat slashes there, you'll kill anyone. 
Yay! So what do we get for defeating the Black Dragon? Let's find out. And we gain another level. Excellent. Cure all. And we get the Grim Reaper Summon. Level 8 Black Summon. We won't be able to equip level 8 summons until we defeat all the dragons. So we won't have the element slots yet. And for defeating him, we also get the Black Relic, which we need to enter the Sea of Eden. But I want to do something with that Black Plate to complete the Dario side quest. Next time on Let's Play Chrono Cross! This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.